Hello strangers, welcome to 25 Hour Hotel Dubai. My name is Timo, I'm the culinary director of the property. I prepared some nice journey for you to learn something about how to make nice and beautiful dishes without any fuss, easy to execute, few steps only. So if you're interested in this, follow me. Welcome back guys. Today we will do a spicy mango salad. Basically a good summer dish, some inspiration from Asia. I could now tell you a long story about my travels in the past and all this, but I don't want to bore you. So I think we will crack on and straight go to the point. So what you need is first of all a mango. So for the mango, it should not be the softest one that you get because you should not be too sweet, else you will lose a bit of spice out of it. Uh, you pretty much, you just take your knife and you cut half of this mango, the rest you pretty much don't need. For this one here, so you can choose. Either you use a peeler and you do it the old way, you peel off all around and kind of like grandma did. Or you make it a smart way because maybe you don't have enough time. You just take a glass, you put it in and you peel out the mango from your glass. It gets a little bit messy, but anyone needs to be cleaning the kitchen after. So you take this out here, this is it. Doesn't look pretty, but it doesn't need to be pretty because you will still slice it anyway. So nobody will realize that. So you will take your mango, you cut some nice slices out here. As you see, the mango itself, it's soft, but it's not too soft. You will take the nice bowl here. Just slice it up a little bit. This goes quite quick. So, however, if you're more on the sweet side, you can also use a bit more riper mango. That's absolutely not a problem. I'm just putting this here in a bowl. If you use your knife like me, make sure you keep your fingers. So this would be about that. So mango, obviously, it's a spicy mango salad. Uh, you just put some chopped onions in here. We will use some nice heirloom cherry tomatoes. Ideally locally, because you try to save the planet, right? should be nowadays anyway. We take some nice sea salt, sprinkle that all over so it can be absorbed from the mangoes. And then here we have some nice coriander leaves and mint leaves. This one, you just roll up a little bit on the board. You can do it there where the mango was, so it's easier to chop for you. You will slice it up just a little bit actually. You can also put it the whole way, but there's not really need for this. You drop this in here, sprinkle it, you see that? Nice and colorful, amazing thing. So then here we have some peanuts. You can use any kind of nuts that you want. These are already ready from the supermarket. You can buy them, uh, whatever spice, barbecue, spicy, whatnot. If you're not strong enough, just get a plain one. Will be okay, will be not a spicy mango salad, but it's still a mango salad, that's the purpose. You put this one in here. So then after that, you need our famous cucumber, which I will just clean off the chopping board here a little bit put everything in here since we need that anyway. Take the cucumber, slice it down. If you love cucumbers, you put a bit more, but this is a bit more for the texture than actually for the purpose of it and it gives it some water. You put these cucumbers in here. And these are pretty much the main ingredients for this one. So however, it doesn't taste like anything, so you would need a dressing, right? So let's straight go on over this one. We get another bowl and we will do the dressing. Uh, dressing, very simple on this one. You will have some lime juice. This one is already pressed because I have people who do that for me, so that's all right. I will put that in here. So then we have some normal vegetable oil. You can use anything. You can use sunflower oil, corn oil, whatever oil you actually would like to do. Um, then we have some extra virgin olive oil. This ratio is pretty much the same. We have some jaggery. However, you can use palm sugar, you can use coconut sugar, whatever kind of sugar you have. It should be more an intense and a, and a lumpy one like this one. So obviously you don't throw the whole chunk. Let's say you take out two pieces here. This one you just roughly chop up. So it's easier later for your blender to work with it. Take this off, throw it in here. 
So then we will have some ginger, which I already peeled in advance because I'm the smart guy in advance. So let's just chop that ginger up a little bit as well. Drop that in that magic bowl. So then we will have here, this is some tamarind, tamarind paste. You put a little spoon of this one in here. We have some shallots that are already pre-fried. You can buy them. You can also use dry onions in, in any way. Depends how, how enthusiastic you are actually to, to do some work at home with this. Throw, throw some in this one. We have some coriander seeds. You don't need much of these, just like about 15 to 20 pieces. Don't worry, I didn't count it as well. One more or two will not break the bank. Uh, and then comes the spicy part. So obviously you can use these chilies here, but if you're not hard enough, you can also just use a bell pepper. It's a bit more for the color of the whole thing. Um, we, we slice some down here. So basically you don't need much. If you touch it with your fingers, don't forget, don't put it in the eyes. It will burn amazingly and you will feel more of this than actually from your salad. And then additional to this one, we have some uh, nice chili oil. Uh, this one you get actually in any local store you have around. Uh, it can be green, can be red, can be yellow, whatever you write, spicy, not spicy, absolutely up to your preference. You will just put a little bit in here. This is pretty much almost a dish. So we will add here a little bit more salt in the dressing. We will add some some cracked crushed pepper here from the mill. And now there comes the noisy part. So obviously since this one doesn't really look like a dressing right and there's the water missing. So we will just take some water there. Don't take it from the tap. You never know where you are. Maybe not the healthiest version. Putting this back, that's all right. Then you just will need your blender. So now it will just get a little bit noisy. And it's working around, but it's totally fine. So this is pretty much your main things of the dish. You have your dressing, you have your main ingredients for your salad. So basically you will add some of the dressing here. Just need to have a spoon. Nicely mix these up together. Let it soak just for a few seconds because obviously it's just some fruits and some vegetables. So there's not much needed from this one. So you have this nice mixed up here. Then you will take your plate. You can have this as a sharing style at home. Keep it in your bowl, put it on a table. People will be happy. However, you can also just put it on a plate. You can try to be fancy. If you want, you make also a tower. Depends how much time you actually have. You put your mangoes and your things in there. Then you take some of your peanuts that you have left. Just sprinkle them nicely on the top because it doesn't need to be look cool. It already looks cool and you will take some of that mint leaves here just adding them around give some nice kick some nice freshness then your magic chili oil that you got before you take this one squeeze a little bit around i like it spicy so let it roll and here we are and this will be your spicy mango salad looks amazing very colorful let's try maybe i did everything right Amazing, spicy as it should be. I will eat this later.